everybody, I'm Lynn, and today I wanted to talk about rosemary. Uh, rosemary, it's an evergreen shrub whose leaves are frequently used to flavor foods like stuffings, pork, roast lamb, chicken, and turkey. Along with the kitchen, rosemary has a lot of benefits to support healthy digestion and internal organ function. And rosemary was considered sacred by the ancient Greek, Roman, Egyptian, and Hebrew cultures. Its herbaceous and energizing scent is frequently used in aromatherapy and when you take it internally it can help reduce nervous tension and occasional fatigue. So a few interesting facts I was not aware of the history of rosemary. I know it smells great. I know I grow it in my garden. I know I add it to my food but I understand now the many health benefits associated with rosemary specifically rosemary essential oil as well. Uh, some things that you can do to use it, which I always like to talk about the uses because sometimes we buy oils or we think we want oils and we have them and then we don't know what to do with them. So I think learning about oils and learning about how they can benefit you and what they can improve in your life is just as important as applying it and how to use it because if you're not using them, you're not getting the benefit from them. So a couple of the uses, um, you can diffuse while studying to maintain concentration. You can take it internally to help reduce nervous tension and occasional fatigue. You can put one to two drops of rosemary oil in your meat and your favorite entree for flavoring and support healthy digestion. Yes, you can use your oils in your cooking, which is so cool. And I've done that with a lot of different oils uh, to change flavors, add flavors, that kind of thing. And you get the health benefits on top of it. A fun fact of rosemary, which isn't something you're going to read about in the textbooks because this is a personal testimonial. I'd had a procedure done and it left me a little painful and I was out and about with one of my friends who also does doTERRA and I said to her, I said, oh man, I forgot my ibuprofen, which normally I would never take, but because of the procedure I had, I felt like I needed something a little extra. She told me, she's like, you don't need that stuff. It's not good for you anyway, which I knew that. But regardless, she said, here, let's let me make you up a little tincture. So she took some rosemary and she took some lavender and she uh, combined it, put it in a roller ball and I used it. And I swear within 10 minutes, my pain was gone. So I realize that's not anything listed on here or anything that you're going to read about in a pamphlet, but that's my personal story that I can attest to that it really, really did work. So moving on, uh, directions for use. You can diffuse it, throw it in your diffuser. You can take it internally. I would dilute it in about four ounces of fluid, preferably water. Uh, topically, you can put one to two drops on a desired area. You can dilute it to minimize any skin sensitivity, which I've never had a sensitivity issue with rosemary. But if you are prone to that, you may want to dilute it down. And if you would like to use it for cooking, I put a few fun recipes up here on my blog. Um, and if you would like a couple other DIYs like hairspray, hair wax, perfume, all those kind of fun things, I put that out there as well. So having said all that, if you have any questions, want to contact me, please feel free to do so. I can be reached at www.mydoterra.com backslash easyoils. And again, I'm Lynn, and I want to thank you for listening. Take care. Bye.